Hi there, I just want to give a quick overview and demonstration of a simple circuit that I've been working on. It's um, a kind of a, a signal sniffer. It has this proboscis, this piece here with a, uh, an inductor on the end, which you can use for picking up signals within various circuits and wires and such. And then it goes through to a high gain amplifier and then to the speaker. It's really simple. You've got a single IC in there and it's a dual operational amplifier. So I use both stages to amplify the, the tiny signals that impinge on this inductor. And then it just goes straight to the speaker there. And I've just got it inside of a tobacco tin. And I'll give you a quick demo of um, of what it sounds like and how it works. Firstly I just want to mention that the uh, idea kind of came about uh, when I was thinking about uh, the uh, cable tracers that electricians use. So they uh, will put a, a signal through a, a long um, uh, cable or wire and then you can use a similar setup to this, the, the high gain amplifier with a, with a small speaker on it and a, an inductor and you use that to pick up the signal um, further along uh, on the cable so you can test um, if, if the uh, cable is installed properly and, and you can see if the, uh, if the signal reaches the other end of the cable. So it's, it's a kind of a very similar design to that, uh, that piece of test equipment. But also um, there's a YouTube video by uh, Leafcutter John where he demonstrates using uh, a coil with a, with a preamp so that you can um, investigate signals in various circuits and uh, that, that kind of gave me an idea for a, for a small uh, handheld device that could do a similar sort of job. Okay so first we can have a look at a, a quite a practical use for the circuit. I've got a, um, a, an audio cable here um, so it's a, quite a well shielded um, jack to jack. It's uh, five meters long and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my mobile phone as a signal generator. So I've just got an adapter there. Pop an adapter on so I can go to a three and a half mil jack and I'm going to plug that in there. And I'm just going to stretch the cable out as much as possible. Okay, so here's the other end of the cable. I have to take my word for it, it's five meters long and it's spread out as much as I can. And what you do is you take something like a crocodile clip or a piece of wire and you'll bridge the, uh, the, the, the tip with the uh, sleeve of the jack. So another scenario would be Let's say, say you're installing a, a coaxial um, cable for uh, an antenna on the roof uh, for radio or such and you want to make sure that after you've dragged the cable through lots of holes and gaps and such that you haven't broken the cable and that the signal will make it down there and everything's okay. So what you can do is you can have this device with you while you're installing the antenna on the roof and someone can insert a signal or you can leave an oscillator or something running at the bottom and uh, then you can search for the signal at the other end. So I'm just going to pull up a recording and what you do is you then take this wire and you put the inductor up against it I'll just switch the unit on. So you can hear the signal is. And if you wrap it round a little bit, oh, then you get a, a stronger coupling, and the signal should be stronger as well.
can also use it for listening to signals and circuits such as this mobile phone. So you can hear various parts of it. And if I uh, maybe connect to the internet, maybe So here's another quick example. Um, you can use it for finding the source of interference from uh, mains home and such. So if you've got, say, an audio cable for a microphone or something and it's lying next to a, a power pack like this, often you'll get about 50 hertz mains home, or 60 hertz, depends where you live. And uh, the more you're drawing through this um, multi-block here, the louder the hum will be. So you might find that if you just move a few plugs around or you um, plug some of your devices into a different outlet, that you can eradicate this kind of interference. Uh, it's quite good as well for listening to um, the switching noises on um, power packs and uh, AC to DC converters. So this is a laptop one. And this Samsung one here for charging a mobile phone is quite interesting. This is my um, practice oscillator for Morse code. And another good application that we can use the sniffer for is uh, testing circuits and oscillators to see if they're if they're oscillating or functioning. Um, so at the moment um, it's it's switched on, so it comes out of the the uh, built-in speaker. But we can actually switch off the speaker. and it's silent. However, if we turn on the sniffer and just open the circuit up, we can sniff around the chip and the wires here. So it's useful as a diagnostic tool in this case. And lastly, I just want to sniff around this laptop and show you some of the signals that you can you can pick up from a, a average um, laptop computer. Actually, I just moved down so you can see where I'm positioning this. So in this corner here, you have the hard drive. And there's lots of other weird tones and
So it's a really useful circuit and it's quite fun as well and it's also very simple so it's really good if you're looking for a first project, something to, to build if you've never built any electronics before. I'm going to put the schematic in the description below and um, if any of you make one of these let me know how you get on.